Nate, it, it seems like uh, you've been all around the world, you know, Paris, now here at U20s. Um, we'll take it back to Paris and obviously your reactions and obviously, you know, not the results that you really wanted for, yeah. for some of your athletes, you know, like Dom, but uh, overall, what was your experience like in Paris? Yeah, I mean, it's a great experience, right? She's an Olympian, like you can't ever take that away. And, you know, the process and where she was a year ago till today, like, you know, she's nine days, she's confident. She's, uh, I mean, she's an amazing human being, right? And I don't coach for the wins and the losses. I coach for my relationships to help these young men and women, you know, grow and be successful after the sport because it gives us so much. So, you know, I, it, you, you always wish you could have a redo, you know, unless you win it. So, um, but you know, it's a great, it's great perspective and, you know, teaching my kids the lessons we learn in wrestling at their age, like that, that's why we do it. You know, it looked like Dom, you know, she had some moments out there and it just seemed like um, she, you know, didn't know like how to either stop the gas or, or just some th things that like didn't really go her way. Was that kind of what you saw was, was it a little bit too much offense at times instead of like putting, pumping yeah. the brakes or what did you kind of see out there when she was on the mat? Yeah, I mean, it's hard, right? Like it's, it's been a few weeks to go dissect that, to, you know, think like what could we have done better, but I mean, you know what, she, she went out there and did her thing and, and, you know, unfortunately we didn't get the result we wanted, but, um, you know, I'm not, I don't want to go back and like say like, uh, what, you know, what she did wrong or right. And, you know, it's just, she's a world champ for a reason. You'll never be able to take that away. And unfortunately, you know, those two days just weren't her day and, um, you know, she's going to grow from it and, and get better. And, you know, there's no doubt in my mind. Um, you know, now we're transitioning to world championships, like you said, Dom's a world champion and you're looking to get more world champions. Talk about some of the athletes, you know, that you're going to be representing. Yeah, so we got Aiden Atal, you know, on the U20 team and the U23 team and then Justin Rademacher uh, on the freestyle U20 team. So, you know, we're excited. I mean, really like Oregon State, you know, we're starting our fifth year, Coach Pendleton and I, and um, we've really had some really strong growth in our program, both, you know, academically and on the mat. And, you know, as your program goes, the guys start making world teams. And, you know, I don't think anybody believed that Justin was going to make the world team. Like, you know, he took second at the weight class below and we had a meeting, hey, go up a weight class. And, and he really went in there and beat some of the best guys in the country, if not the world, you know, to make the team. He teched a, a world medalist, you know, in the, the finals of the mini tournament. He had to beat a really highly touted, or touted recruit, you know, that's going to Oklahoma State. So I think it shows that, you know, we're doing some really good things as a staff and, and our guys believe in our vision and our culture. Um, and, you know, hopefully the rest of the country sees that. And now the world, right? Two guys, uh, one on each team. And, and I think yeah, their preparation has been really good. You know, Aiden's been here twice before and won a medal. So, um, you know, I always say you can't fast forward to the world championships. Like, you got to take it day by day and match by match and, you know, just keep working and scoring points and ultimately moving on to the goal that you want to be a world champ. What do you, you know, Greco starts first, so we're going to start with that. You know, what are you looking from, obviously, your Oregon State heavyweight to here at the World Championship? Yeah, I mean, again, right, he's a seasoned veteran, but we got to just keep scoring points and keep using our legs and, and get into our angles and get into our takedowns and, and our turns, and, and that's how you win matches, right? Like, you can't have a bad match, right, or you're going to be sitting in the stands. So, um, you know, his preparation's been really good. Mentally, he's ready. Physically, he's ready. He believes in himself. He's, you know, our whole staff believes in him. That's why we're all coming to watch. And, and help him and, and help Justin. So, you know, I think, you know, he starts the team off and I think it's important, right, to that first day to get guys going and then the rest of the team feeds off of it. Just like, you know, in, at the Olympics, you know, when, when, when the team's rocking and rolling that first day, the other guys that maybe haven't wrestled here, they're, you know, now they're like, man, I can do it. So, you know, I think Robbie's done a, a great job with this team and Chase and, and, you know, obviously we got a ton of personal coaches here and, and they've done a great job. So it's exciting, you know, I think, you know, this is this is, in another four years. This is going to be the team, right? So, um, you know, we got to keep investing in these guys as college coaches. We got to believe in Greco and, and keep moving it forward. And finally, what's your excitement level? Obviously, you know, Justin, you know, pretty new, pretty new on the world stage. Is yeah. First, Aiden be able to help him out and, and be a good leader, like you said, being yeah. a veteran, and then also, um, what do you expect to see him? when he steps on the mat. Yeah, well. I mean, our team's like truly a family at Oregon State. And, and so like Aiden and Justin, you know, when they made the team, it was a big deal to them and, and to us as well. But, you know, Justin's talked to Aiden and vice versa. And, and really Justin, I mean, believes, believes wholeheartedly in himself. Uh, you know, he's had some really great workouts. He gets better every single day. I mean, when he got to us, he wasn't a big time recruit. And, you know, now he's beating these, these guys because he believes in himself. And, and I think he truly believes he can be a world champ too. And, you know, with Corey in his corner and, and Pendleton and Roden and myself, like, 
you know, we, we invest a lot of time into our guys and, and for Justin, you know, he's got to go out, get the takedown and feel it, right? It, sometimes you have the butterflies and just like you do every tournament, but, you know, Justin can do it. I mean, he looks really, really good right now.